Back to the Ishimura. Now, when we last left off, we were trying our damnedest to repair the tram station. Evening. Trouble is, these bastards are getting in the way. That's okay. That's okay. We don't mind. We'll be sending them to the grave one bolt of plasma at a time. Alright, lads. We have what we came for. There we go. Data board pre-installed. Error. Damage tram on track. Contact maintenance immediately. Hmm. That's not good. Well, I suppose we better get on that then as well. Your locator knows the way. Yep, love the locator. Such a cool little feature. Uh, we do also have a improved map in this game. And the improved map is really, really good. Not that I really use the improved map that much, to be honest. Alright, well, let's go get our Kinesis module. Where did you come from? Oh, you came out of the tram. Ah, sucks to be you, dude. Well, this is uh, definitely an inappropriate position to be in. Right, have we got any goodies around here? Ah. So, this is a new thing with the remake. We have these security clearances, which we actually unlock as we go through the game. Uh, and that allows us to come back to certain doors and certain rooms and things. Um, now, I will be trying to hit up every one of these loot rooms, but there are some certain containers and things that I'm just not going to be able to find because there's quite a few of them dotted all over the place. And without actually writing down every single container that you come into contact with, it's, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass to get everything, but we should be fine. We'll get all the major loot rooms. All right, so what have we got going down here? Now, we actually have to complete a side quest to uh, get the master um, clearance code. But we'll be doing that. Oh, much better. So much better. Right, so now we got our stasis module all flared up. Yeah, we know how that works. We know how the stasis works. Well, that's something um, that definitely felt missing in Callisto Protocol. I mean, we had the Kinesis module, uh, which was fine. Oh, here we go. We're getting an event. I think, yeah, I think that one happened last time as well. Usually when all the lights go off like that, you're about to get attacked by thousands of enemies. Let them come, I say. Right, let's have a little squiz around. So that's where we came from. Let's check out the toilets. All gender restroom. Yes, this game was called Woke for that. I mean, pff, come on. Seriously. Uh, uh, what have we got in here? Ah, oh, this dude had a bad time. We'll grab the F aid. What else have we got here? Ooh. Yeah, these doors. See, this one is blue. That means it's open. Some of these will be red, and we'll have to upgrade our clearance. But we'll get to that as and when. We'll have you, and we'll have you, and we'll have your credits. Thank you. I like these little um, bins that are everywhere as well. Really cool. Okay, so we can't go that way, not yet. Looks like it's a uh, full steam ahead. Kind of occurrence. Just keep collecting that plasma. We're going to need as many plasma bolts as we can. Now, these blue containers, just like in the original, always contain power nodes. 
And we're going to need a lot of power nodes. You better believe it. Because I'm going to have uh, lots of fun. Well, I'm hoping to have lots of fun on this playthrough with all the different weapons. Because in my uh, first playthrough, I only used the plasma cutter to get the achievement. Right, so tram repair. Now this puzzle is actually identical. To uh, when we're here in the first game. Or should I say, should we say, yeah, we're just going to call it the first game. The original game. Plenty of health and goodies. You can see the stuttering that I'm still having. Um, it's a little bit better with the last patch, but it's still there. Nothing like Callisto Protocol, though. That just seems to be a PC game thing. Right, let's try and get this bad boy switched out. Whilst my cat climbs across my desk again. There we go. Well, that's bad. No matter. Now, this is where things get a little bit funky. Because, of course, we can't just repair the tram. We cannot just go to work. Because these little shit bags are going to interrupt us at every turn. Pretty bloody rude of them, if you ask me. Look at this. Dude, unlike you, I have a job. And I'm trying to do said job. So if you could kind of... And another one. Ooh, audio log. These enemies are definitely tougher. Uh, you can tell they're tougher because they're darker in colour. Um, on normal, these guys are pretty much just fleshy monsters. But in this playthrough so far, they're all fully clothed and they got a bit of armour on them. Message retrieved. Vents into engineering. You got a stasis module handy? We need one in tram maintenance stat. The autoloader's fried. I got a damaged tram car on the tracks, and if the whole system's gridlocked, guess who they're calling? Temple here, sending a stasis module now. What happened to the autoloader? No idea. A lot of shit's been breaking down. I keep hearing things. Down in the gears where, where no one could be. You know? I know. Strange. So, spooky goings on. Shit breaking down. Hmm. Doesn't sound good, does it? Well, that's this thing fixed, and my cat is going mad. Alright. It's a good thing we've got a warehouse full of spare tram cars. Oh, here they come. Let's go get ourselves a defendable position. Come to Uncle Isaac. There you go. Ooh. Damn. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, these meat sacks take a little bit of extra killing. Ooh. He was a generic one. My god. Yeah, this is much better. Good. You got it. The tram was jamming the whole system. I'm heading back to tram control. Should be able to call you a ride to the bridge. Excellent. Just hurry. I keep hearing noises right under our feet. Yeah, well, uh, I've got a little bit more than a few extra noises going on around here. I have an army of deadites trying to eat my asshole. Well, that's fine. We've got our plasma cutter. Now, the good thing with our plasma cutter is it has one of the new upgrades on it. And that allows enemies to catch on fire and take damage over time. You coming down, sweetheart? Or are you just looking pretty? 
up in the rafters. Yeah, so uh, we take damage. Uh, we can cause the enemy to take damage over time. And my cat is really being a pest. Get the fuck out of it, cat. Jesus. Um, but to be honest with you, it doesn't really seem to do a huge amount. Right, now we've done all the work, let's go see if we can't get the tram back online, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, Mum. There you go. A load of noise about nothing, honestly. Some of these ghouls. Alright, uh, looks like we're all quiet in here. Nice. Okay, so before anything else kicks off, let's catch up with all the messages and logs and things that we've found so far. Uh, uh, this is awkward, because <laughs> I have all of them, apart from the final one, not found. Interesting, because in the second playthrough... Um, Hmm. Yeah, in the second playthrough, they add extra logs. So we got the background request to Zach Hammond from Unknown. Background request. Pay request. Here's what we could find on those on these specialists they've sent for the repair mission. Isaac Clark. Isaac was born to Poe and Octavia Clark on Earth in the eastern seaboard region of the American Republic. Uh, Poe Clark was an award-winning ship architect employed by the Galactic Union Merchant Marine Corp. His records show extended time off-world away from his family. When Isaac was born, Poe was given a temporary uh, reassignment to the Earth-based Gumak ship production facility. During the four-year tour, Poe and Octavia raised Isaac together. When the tour was over, Poe shipped... Uh, off for an extended off-world tour. Poe's influence on his son must have... Um, well, I suppose it's Powell, Powell's influence on his son must have been rubbed off. Records indicate Isaac pursued studies in mechanical and electrical engineering and achieved high honours. According to medical and psychological reports, Powell's Clark's absence had a profound effect on Octavia. She suffered from depression and personal anguish until doctors encouraged her to find fulfillment by working with a charitable organization. It is believed that this is how she ended up coming in contact with the Church of Unitology. At first, her association with the church appeared to be uh, appeared to alleviate her mental conditions. The cancellation of her therapy sessions corresponded with the local parish announcement of their initiation uh, ceremony. There are indications that she sold off much of the family estate to finance full membership into the church and the soul cleanse they require to enter the higher ranks. Isaac appeared to have been selected to uh, a prominent engineering school, but we summarize that he was unable to afford the tuition. As records show that he instead attended a lesser known school with the help of scholarship and financial assistance. After graduating with high honours, Isaac enlisted in the Merchant Marine. He quickly gained a reputation for his resourceful engineering solutions and after two years was promoted to a high profile position closer to the major shipping lanes. Isaac's career stagnates at this point. He would co uh, This would coincide with the psychological reports or psychiatric reports that his mother's mental health was deteriorating and bank records show payments to a psychiatric facility for treatment. This seems to be where Isaac met a medical officer and neuropsychiatrist neuropsychiatrist called Nicole Brennan and her name appears on Octavia's physician roster. The two of them ended up uh, cohabitating until Brent accepted a promotion and left to serve on the USG Ishimura. Uh, Pohl's return from his extended tour coincided with Octavia's release from the hospital. Whenever his assignment was, 
Pose services at service records remain mysteriously classified by executive order and unless confined in Isaac, he took his secrets to the grave. The next records we have are death notices for both Pole and Octavia. Their bodies were willed to the custody of the Church of Unitology along with the Clark's entire estate, apparently on Octavia's wishes. Isaac repeated, uh, Isaac's repeated petitions to have his parents' bodies returned seems to have been ignored, since the church refuses any inquiries related to its members. This, uh, their cause of death is unknown. Overall, Isaac's more than qualified to handle a job like the Ishimura. I talk politics over religion, though. Then we have Kendra Daniels. I couldn't find anything on her in the time that you gave me, but Dalton swears by her. Apparently, she's on the mission... Uh, with his recommendation. If he thinks she's what it takes, who am I to argue? Yeah, a little bit one-sided, don't you think, that uh, report? Kendra has no information available. Hmm. Kendra, if that is your real name. Very sus. So, I like what they've done here. They've really flushed out Isaac's background, and they've, you know, tied him heavily into the church of unitology straight off the off which is really cool <clears throat> sponsored article the usg ishimura this uh, article is sponsored by cec's print and publishing division and may not represent the views of our amazing universe magazine uh, imagine a world where basic resources like fuel or metals and ice are hard to come by. Imagine if humanity's needs were entirely dependent on the nearly extinct resource of Earth and the dwindling supplies of the colonies. Older readers don't need to imagine such a world. You lived it. Less than a century ago. Looking to the stars for additional resources was nothing new, but at the time only shock point capable ships were smaller Oh, at the time, the only shock point capable ships were smaller vessels that could barely keep up with demand. Enter the Ishimura. Named after a celebrated uh, astrophysicist and inventor of the shock point drive, Hideki Ishimura and the USG Ishimura were the first of the massive planet cracker ships. Built in 2446, she has enjoyed a long and sordid career. The Ishimura was the first vessel of her size to utilize the shock point drive for large-scale commercial deep space expeditions. At her inception, the Ishimura was hailed as the saviour of the colonies. She was created to mine and process asteroids and even small moons with remarkable efficiency. She was also the first ship capable of the pioneering scan and catch technique for harvesting mineral-rich asteroids. Utilising huge gravitational tethers, the Ishimura could lock onto asteroids and pull them inside the ship's massive collection bays for quick and efficient smelting. At 62 years old, the Ishimura is still in remarkable shape. Her equipment has been upgraded over the years and many of her interior spaces have been retrofitted to take advantage of current technological advances. Despite so many long years of service, she remains the pride of the, e, uh, uh, the CEC fleet and is still the company's largest planet cracker. Whenever a vital ship, a uh, vital deep space mining project requires skill, experience and dedication, the Ishimura is ready to answer the call. It's ships like the Ishimura and the dedication of the men and women who crew her that built the Concordance Extraction Corporation into the trusted, dependable resource provider it is today. Okay, so we're a mining ship that literally tears planets apart for their resources. That's kind of freakishly dystopian when you think about it. Uh, run. Yeah, so I'm not 100 and sure. Chris is still after us. Run! So that's Daniel. So that's Kendra. Then send help. It didn't die. We shot that fucker right between the eyes, and it didn't die. Smith had to shoot its fucking arms and legs off. For God's sake, send help! Yep. And then I think that's pretty much us up to date. I think what we'll do, we'll catch up on some more of those a little bit later on. Or we just read them as and when we get them. I'm not really sure how we're going to handle the logs, but we'll try and get them all. Maintenance 
Something hit the roof, but it seems operational. Quarantine lockdown's lifted, so you can get to the hangar. Comms are still down, though, so be ready for anything. What's the plan? You and Johnson fix up the Kelly. We report to the bridge. Standard emergency protocol. What? Protocol? Hammond, people are dying here. And I'm not losing anyone else. We stick to procedure. We'll get through this. <sighs> we'll see. All right, so we got to return back to our ship. That's fine. That can be done. What sort of ammo have we got? Oh, we got loads. So, I do like this futuristic uh, world that these guys have built. It's really good. Really interesting. Oh, hello. Security request retrieved. It's done. Ah. Put that fucker right between the eyes and it didn't die. Smith had to shoot its fucking arms and legs off. For God's sake, send help. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of help coming, my dude. Yeah, man. Now, one thing that does bother me is this plasma cutter, which is upgraded. Um... Actually, it only holds 23 shots. I'm not sure why it only holds 23 shots. Seems to be like kind of an odd number, but you know. It is what it is. Cut their limbs off. We're trying, guys. We're trying. Right, I'm not sure how we're going to fix the Kellyan up, to be honest. I mean, it's pretty totaled. There ain't really an awful lot to fix. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Evening. Oh, hello. Come on, dude. Well, be like that then. Suit yourself. Now oh, there you are. Can't trust these guys. Honestly. They will just sneak up on you at the most awkward moments. That's why you got to keep your plasma cut handy. These guys are tough. Man. Man, they're tough. I wonder if they're the phantoms that we've heard so much about. Because they, oh boy, they're going to be rough customers. Right, let's drop down a save. Yeah, they're going to be spicy. Bullet sponges. But that's okay. That's alright. We can handle that. Alright, buddy. Well, I say alright, but look at the state of that. Now another complaint was they changed out uh, Johnson. I remember seeing that quite a bit. They changed Johnson into a black woman instead of whatever Johnson was before. I don't actually remember. Uh, bit of a weird thing to whinge about, but there we go. People will whinge.
Well, I am an expert. How the hell are we going to make this thing spaceworthy? Look at the state of it. Jesus. Not great. Yeah, hey Johnson. Is that good? Haley, I need you to listen. The Yishimura's overrun with the fucking monsters. You didn't hear anything? What? No, the comms are still out. Isaac. We need to kill the fixed now. Got a damage report? Uh, yeah, it, it's there. Right, let's see what we can do. Nah, sorry dude, but with a broken ankle you would have been uh, easy pickings. Well, this is bad. Whoa. Yeah, we're not fixing that. No way are we fixing that. Man, these guys definitely take some killing. And unfortunately, Haley is no more. Let's see if we can grind this guy up. Yeah. Probably a more efficient way of doing it. Isaac, what's happening down there? Johnson's gone. Kelly and two. The singularity core overloaded. Jesus. No. Kelly was our only way home. We're trapped. No. I'm not losing two good people for nothing. What about the command computer? It's a brick. All the primary systems are locked down with the captain's codes. So we find Captain Matthias. Track his rig. Oof. Okay, here. Captain Benjamin Matthias. Location medical. Status deceased? Even the captain? God. Isaac, you're closer to medical. You can double back and cut through maintenance. Find the captain's body and get his rig. With his codes, we... What was that? Okay, Shit. You'd be better off just shooting it, even if it does look like Chen, just shoot it. Now, luckily, Johnson, well, she's not coming back, so at least hopefully not. Anyway, things are going from bad to worse around here. Uh, good thing Isaac's an engineer. Because it looks like we've got quite a lot to fix. And we've got even more to break. Can I have some lights, please? Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of how dark they've made this game. I swear the original wasn't actually this dark. That's probably one of the only criticisms I can really pull from it. They've made it obnoxiously dark. It's quite a few bits later on where I just I was getting hit by enemies just because you can't see them. But um, apart from that, this game is a riot. Anyway, we're going to leave it there, guys. So thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, well, I guess we're going to go to medical. Because medical sounds fun, doesn't it? So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.